Welcome back everybody. Welcome if you are new. Today we're in the Arkham Nard series here at USA. We are car number two in this session two, which scares me. That means there's not gonna be a very high strength of field because I'm only at like 36, 3700, something like that on the oval side. And me being car number two is not great. I'd much rather be a lower number, but it is what it is. We'll do the best we can. Just gotta try not to spin out of this track mainly. I did like half a lap of practice just to see what kind of grip that we had. And it seems pretty right. decent. Just gotta not hit the apron down there or be turning too hard going in or off of these corners. Try to hook the bottom best we can, keep as much momentum. And just try not to get sideways mainly. I usually start letting off and breaking right at that light or right before that light. Going in the three. And we'll see what this first lap brings us. 639, I'm not mad about that. I know I can get into the low sixes. I've gotten to the fives once. Oh, got sideways there. That wasn't good. Bad second lap. Let's just finish out the lap though in case everybody actually does do their laps and then we could just proceed with the qualifying, but trying to push it off a of turn two there. Didn't go well. But what are we so far? We're third, which isn't bad. I'd like to start somewhat up front. So it's not too bad in back of the pack. Just got to watch out for everybody wrecking, spinning out, getting into each other, going into these corners. Damn, he ran a 5.62. Good lap. He is flying there. But so far, we are fourth now. I'd much rather start on the low side. So if I can get passed by one more guy, I'd be okay with that. Because the low side is definitely going to gain more spots. And the top side, you could get strung out there for a while. So, oh, there we go. We go down to fifth. So I'm okay with that. Hopefully, we can stick in fifth. And I'll bring you guys back. And we're getting ready to go green. Damn, well we fell on the six. The three car ended up getting the pole, but good lap by him. 552 is full line right there. But I'm hoping we can just have a clean car, race, at least for us, outside. and just keep the car going straight, right. unlike we did in qualifying. But right. Gotta worry about people getting into the back of you here. Uh, it's a very aggressive short track, but I love this track. This is like one of my favorite actual asphalt tracks, but one of my favorite overall in the whole sim because it has a great dirt track as well. And this was the place I got my first iRacing win on in the Modifieds. I want to say it's the SK Modifieds because I was a D-Class then. But that was a long time ago when I first started. But we're waiting on some people to join up. Just got to try not to run over anybody in front of us. Hopefully we can get down to the low lane after the first turn. That'd be great. We got the 14 and the 18 in front of us on this outside lane. So hopefully they can get a good enough jump when the leader goes. But waiting on guys to join up. Let me know if you guys have ran this this week and how it went for you. I imagine there's going to be a ton of people spinning out. Either spinning out or just wrecking each other. So there's going to be a lot of lap cars to probably deal with in this race. 50 laps is a long time with no cautions. But these tires are going to get very worn out as well. Should be a good one. I do like short track racing like this a lot. We're waiting on 8th place to join in behind me. How many people are in this? At least 21, 22? Okay. A lot of people in this uh, race. So I'm hoping we can finish about top 5, top 7, 8 at the worst. That's what I'm hoping for. Don't know if that's going to happen or not. But we will see. We are car number 2, so we need to finish as well as we can to get any I rating out of it. Disappointing to see I was car number 2. 8th place ended up not joining in. Yeah. Looks like he's not going to, unless he's going to, oh, he did literally with one second left. Why wait to the end? I don't understand that. <laughs> like, I literally don't understand why waiting until one second left to join in. But it is what it is. That's the five car that's going to be behind us. So we've got the 14, 18, me, and then the five. So hopefully we don't get ran over by the five. Hopefully the 14 and 18 don't just slam on the brakes going into the first corner. And we can actually get like a good first turn. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of carnage in like the first lap or two. People either getting into each other or just spinning out going too hard. Because it's easy to spin out going into these corners as well. You go in a little too deep. You miss your braking zone. And then you try to get on the brakes and turn in. And it just wants to kick out on you and get so loose. They are very hard to uh, save too. These cars, they, do, they don't want to be saved very easily. Best thing is just to let off the gas, try to straighten the car out. If you have to use the wall, use it as best you can with the back end. Try not to get your front right very damaged. 
but the back end won't hurt it too much. Just trying to keep the car pointed straight and for the main part of the race. And we should do fine. We'll see how fast these top two are that ran in the fives for qualifying. See if they fall off with the tires or not. My spotter's freaking going off. But it should be a good one. It's gonna be very tough, I feel like. I do have them unmuted, okay? Because there's definitely gonna be some people yelling at each other, I assume. Always like to hear that. Three car is going. Actually, had a pretty good jump. Third place didn't get a very good jump, actually. But we are gonna be stuck on the outside of him. Try not to be too aggressive and pin him down too much. It's only the first corner. You can't win it in the first corner, but you can sure as hell lose it. But we actually end up passing him, too. Shocked by that. He's probably just taking it real easy. First place overdrove the hell out of that turn. We actually got the fourth. I'm shocked by that. Oh, Jesus. He sent that behind me. Seven car really went for it. <laughs> I thought I was about to get hit in the rear end. And taken out with him. He absolutely sent it into that corner. There's a huge gap after six. Like 48 more laps for Lex or something. I don't know what the hell happened to him. Either he was falling asleep at the wheel and just missed his braking zone. Or what? Like, he was flying through that corner. We'll go back and see all the incidents after the race as well. Just see what happens. But that was nuts. There is a big gap behind sixth place. It looks like the 11 might have been taken out too, which sucks for him. I know he was super fast in my last practice. He actually was like first in the practice here and then qualified, I think, right behind me in seventh. That's unfortunate for him. It looks like he got taken out. Yeah, just trying to stay up here with these guys for now. Tires will fall off a whole bunch. Like, I don't know how far the times fall off. I know I ran like 20, 25 laps and I was like around like half a second to eight tenths off a lap compared to like what you run when you first come out for a qualifying. The tire wear definitely is a thing here. Just trying not to burn them up too early and trying not to slide around with the rear ends so they don't hate me too much later on. Just be very careful getting on throttle. I, I get on it slowly, and then once I, like, I'm kind of pointed straight off the corner, I'll get on the gas. 14 cars in the wall. I thought 18 was going to try to take advantage of that, but he wasn't close enough. Either that or he was getting loose going low. Three cars starting to pull off a little bit. Who we have behind me? The one and the five is behind me. So the five car started behind me. He ended up not ended up in a part of any a part of that either seemed like the outside lane was actually the better one for this start of the race like the seven took it super easy the first lap and then going into the turn one on the second lap just absolutely sent it i don't know what the hell he did because <laughs> i thought he was going to take it real easy and then i think somebody was on his outside going in turn one and he just sent it i think the one car was there either he missed his braking zone or forgot to hit the brakes something it was bad though. He destroyed his car. Trying not to overdrive these corners and slide up too much. Trying to stay right on this yellow line, but not actually get on it too much. Because the more you get on that yellow line slash like getting on the apron, you're, when you get on the gas, it really wants to kick out on you really bad. In a way, it's a little bit better to go like a quarter of a lane up going into this corner. And then kind of get a runoff coming lower. If you can, I think the 18's trying to do that to the 14. Got a, slow one. Got a wrecked car somewhere up here. I see smoke. Don't know where they're at yet. Oh, they're up there. They're, go they're going now. That's going to be the first lap car we're going to have to deal with. That might be the. It looks like the 7 up there to me. I think I saw the number 7 on my other screen turning through the. Turn three. But he's definitely having a struggle some of a race. 
Ooh, what happened to the five? He's nowhere to be seen anymore. I don't see him in the two places, the three places behind me now. He was behind the one car. He might have lost it or something coming off or going into a corner. I'm not 100% sure what happened to him. He's gone. Yeah, the only thing I changed on the fixed setup was the steering ratio. Because I like 12 to 1. It's just easier to catch the slide if you get loose or anything. Do have to turn it a little bit more in these corners to get it to go around. But I like the slow and steady uh, turning rather than like a little bit more twitchy like the 10 to 1 gives you. Oh, actually, I think that was the 5 car right there. The one that dropped to the upload. So he may have uh, not wrecked himself. He may have just freaking uh, lost connection. That's unfortunate. I think that was his name. And what the 18 just did right there, uh, getting in that wall in the back stretch, I did that one time in my practice. And I didn't get off in time once the opening happened, and I nailed the opening of that wall, and it killed my car. Like, it was bad. Dang, three cars pulling away really hard. He is flying right now. Oh, he's back. Yeah, he lost connection or something. That's unfortunate. He was having a good run, too. He was in sixth. But we got lucky with the start of this race, I feel like, with uh, the seven cars sliding behind us, and then, like, a whole bunch of people wrecked right behind us, it seemed like. I don't know how many, but it seemed like there was, like, a big gap behind us. Like, the one car was somewhat close, like he is now, and then the five was with him, and then after that, there was a pretty good drop-off to people behind that. We're almost three seconds ahead of sixth place now. But as long as we don't screw up, I think we could finish top five pretty easily, which would be great. I'll be very happy with that result. Especially being car number two. Definitely need to finish well. Somewhat keeping pace with the 14 and 18 here. They're running decent. I'm just trying not to burn out my tires. Ooh, 18 almost got in the wall there, had to pull off. Kind of went a little bit deeper into that corner. I didn't quite mean to. I was on the apron a little bit. Couldn't get on the gas. I had to keep itch itching a lot. Really annoying. I hate when that happens when I'm racing. Ooh, 18 right on the 14 bumper. Got another lap car down low. It looks like he's going to the pits, though. Not sure what car that is. That's the 5 car. Ooh, 18's on the apron. He's trying to get by the 14. He's doing all he can to not get into the back of him, though. At least he's driving clean. Love to see that. They seem to be getting a little bit better runs off the corner than I am. I'm kind of, like, going in a little harder, trying to let it roll, and then getting on the gas coming off. They may be just uh, letting it roll a little bit easier and getting a better turn off. It seems like they pull away the slightest bit down the straightaway. I think we have somebody coming off pit lane. Yep, the five car. He's going to be on our inside. That's unfortunate timing. He went on the apron, though, but I wasn't going to risk running the low side, so I lost some time there. But if he, I, I didn't expect him to go down the apron because he just came in and out of the pits again. So definitely didn't expect that, but that was uh, nice of him, at least. Definitely screwed us up a little bit going into turn three. I think I slowed down way too much in that corner. Let's see if we can catch up to the 14 and 18 again. I got in the wall and that messed me up. I didn't want to like slam on the brakes or anything to get into turn one because that would have gotten us loose. I was just a little bit close to the wall. I don't even think it gave us a zero X or anything. The car is starting to slide around a little bit going into these corners though. So I got to be careful on these tires. We're only we're about halfway in now, so that's nice. Still a long race to go, though. Anything could happen. I haven't had to deal with many lap cars, though, which is nice. The seven car is still right up here. Like, he definitely has speed. He just really screwed up in the beginning of the race. Don't know what he did. I'm real interested to see the replay afterwards and how close he got to our bumper. I don't think it was, like, within a few feet. Ooh, he about lost it there again going into that corner. I don't think he was like super super close to us. I just saw him, him in my mirror coming. He was going quick. I'm just happy we didn't get hit by him. 
But he seems to have a decent amount of speed. There with the five. I don't know if he wrecked or what again. Ooh, seven got out of the way. Thank you. I thought he was just going to run right here because he had speed, so I wasn't going to be mad about it. It's not like he was slowing down the uh, two in front of us. 14 starting to pull off on the 18 a little bit. We'll see if the 18 tries to push a little hard, though, trying to catch back up to him. I'm trying not to push too hard and get sideways. A little bit past halfway. You're a little slow on that spotter. You're a lap or two behind. It's going into lap 27 is not halfway. Finishing lap 25 is halfway. Going into 26, so he was like a lap off. I'm happy with how we ran. We're starting to pull away from the one car a little bit. Either that or he got loose off that corner or something or going into that last corner. They definitely made a little bit of a gap on him. 0.7, about the same gap that's in front of me now. Three cars not too far out there, but it's going to be hard to catch him. The 14 is doing really well, though. I don't know if he's really catching him per se, but it will be interesting to see if he can by the end of this thing. But it seemed like this, uh, once it hit like halfway in this race, or really close to halfway, once he got by that 7 car, he started pulling off from the 18 here. Either he saved his tires really well, or he's just driving it a little bit better with the tire wear than us. And maybe he just drives it the same way the entire time and just practice for a really long run. Because I probably did about like my longest run about 25, 30 laps. So it wasn't like a full race run. But I understood how the tires were going to wear in. Try to take advantage of the fresh tires in the beginning. I think we got real lucky though in the beginning with starting in sixth and getting up to fourth by the end of the first lap. That's amazing. Definitely did not expect that. Because the one car started on our inside in fifth and then the seven car started in third he had a really bad start and then i think just took it easy and didn't want to press anything until the second lap <laughs> and i think the only thing he was pressing was the the gas pedal going into the first corner starting to catch the 18 here he's starting to uh fade slightly i don't know if he's starting to like slide around too much or if like he's put too much wheel into all his laps and he's burning up at front right, and it's not turning as well for him. Oh, he's getting sideways there. He kept his speed, though, for the most part. And if you get a little bit loose going down these straightaways, don't worry. Just let off the gas a little bit, and you should be able to catch it pretty easy. Don't try to just jerk it back to the right and stay in the gas. You're going to go right back out to the outside wall. Because I've done that plenty of times over my career. And what I've noticed, like, when I spin off of one of these corners, mainly it was in turn four, when I was spinning off of one of the corners in practice, I kind of just held the gas down, and then once I was, like, three quarters or halfway through, oop, there goes the 18. That's third place. He finally uh, went around. He was starting to get loose for a while there. One car missed him, too, which is nice. Man, the 18, that sucks for the 18. He just started pushing a little bit too hard. That's so unfortunate. He was having a good run. But what I was saying was when... I would spin off turn four. I kind of just held the gas a little bit, got it, I did a full 360, let off the gas like halfway through and kind of just straightened it out and kept it going. But also there wasn't really many people near me at that point. Like I could probably do it if uh, I was this far away from the one. I think he just screwed up really bad. Damn, that feels so bad for the 18, even though he did it to himself. Like he was having a good run. That would have been a really good I rating day for him. The 14 is going to have a great I rating day. Finishing second and or first potentially so I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch him Seems like we're pulling off from the one car behind us. The three has been fast all day Got about 15 14 laps left now Just trying to stay consistent Because the worst thing to do right now would be to try too hard and Either smack the wall or spin out like the 18 did and then just ruin your race Sometimes it's better just to settle in, get your spot that you can for the day, and move on, because third place is nice. I'm happy about that. Podium finish. I'm not I'm not disappointed in that if we can get there at the end. Especially for where we started. I thought starting in fifth would have been great, and then once the three car got the pole, I thought our race was gonna be a lot harder. 
and I thought by the end of the first lap we'd be in like 8th, ninth, and if we were still side by side, fall back into the lower teens, or 10th, 11th, I overdrove that corner, didn't get on the brakes too much. Um, I thought we were going to be having to work up through the field after the first couple laps because I thought starting the outside lane would be in a death sentence in a way. Thank you. We just got lucky with the start. The 14, 18, and I all had a pretty good start. The five car had a pretty good start too until he lost connection. That was super unfortunate for him. That lap car may have slowed the three down just a little bit. He was at the 17. He let him by, but I think he slowed him down the slightest bit. The four, either that or the 14's catching him, or it's just an optical illusion for how far away I am from the 14 now. So I've screwed up a couple corners. Yeah, I'm not quite getting to the bottom anymore. I'm not, like, getting on the brakes for long enough. I'm kind of driving it like I were it was 10 laps ago, and I need to get on the brakes, get it to settle down and turn. 14 got by the 17 in decent time. He kind of let off and uh, rode the high side and let him by, which was nice. That's how you're. That's how to be a lap car. That was a great way to be a lap car. That or how the 7 did it earlier. He about lost it in front of second and third, but then once he got in front of me, he kind of just pulled down on the back stretch, let the guys by that were right near him, and then kept on going. Yeah, you'll lose a little bit of time, but at least you're not going to get wrecked by a lead lap car trying really hard to get by you. And that's the worst thing in these races when there's no cautions and you're already a lap down, you're not going to get your lap back because you obviously were either too slow or you have damage. You're not going to get your lap back and there's no reason to really press the issue and make your day worse. Like, just get away from the race with your safety rating as much as you can. 17's scaring me a little bit because he's a little sideways coming off these corners. I saw the 14 going down to the low side on the front stretch like a last lap. I don't know if he almost lost it or what happened to him there. I kind of feel like I'm catching the 14 slightly. I haven't really looked at the relative, but... I might be somewhat catching them. Like I'm kind of getting it to roll through the center pretty well. There's a there's a wrecked car on the low side. Watch for him just coming up the track. There he comes. I hate lap cars. That was the 18 car, so he wrecked himself again. Thank you, 17. He let me go by. Appreciate that. Keep it up, my man. But the 18 should have waited till we went by and then started coming up, because he could have ruined. The 17th day even more, and then my day for sure. I'm actually, I am catching these guys. I think the 14 is slightly catching the 3, and I'm catching them a good amount. But I was like 2-8 away from 2nd place, now I'm 2-2. Two, two. So I don't know if I'm just getting it to roll better on the bottom, or I saved my tires a little bit better. But he was pulling away, like, from lap like 23 24 until about like a couple laps ago but i don't have enough time to catch him unfortunately yeah i don't have enough time the three car is pulling away a little bit again from second shorter man so all we need to do is watch out oh god i guess the 11 probably wrecked somebody he said sorry you're too slow yikes but yeah, I'm not going to catch the 14 unless he really screws up. I'll take a third all day. I'm happy about that. Definitely didn't expect it coming in. Don't ex I don't expect this race to be a really high strength of field either, but at least we were we stayed up here around our number. So it should be a decent day, I feel like. We should gain about like 30 or so, I feel like. I was overshooting that corner coming in, and I didn't want to turn and get myself loose. So I just took my loss there in that corner and just went straight since no way's near me. Last lap. Three car had a flawless race, so good for him. That, like he was super fast there in qualifying. I was wondering to see how those top two held on to their car. Go in, dude. Yeah, he good was right. flying. He was flying, man. We finished oh, what? My mistake, so sorry, man. Three four. 3-4 away from the leader, not too bad. He was super fast, and we started catching the 14 so there at the sorry. end. All right, man, good job. So somebody got wrecked by the 11 again. I'll take third, though. Very happy with that result. Very, very happy with that. So let's go see what happened there in the very beginning. 
Yeah, I'll have to go back and see what's happening what with I them. Mean? Uh, the nine car was just saying that. It was stupid. What happened to him? Oh, I don't think it happened to him. I think it happened to him in front. The 11 and the 15 is right there. Oh, the 15 ends up finishing on 13th, and he's running in fifth place right there. What happens? Going into his final lap, 11 car has a really deep uh, run in. Oh, he just got into. He got. He just ran him over. Didn't even try to turn under him. Just got into him there and just pushed him and just wrecked him. That's unfortunate. He said sorry, but that doesn't really help anything. I think he said like a couple laps before he said sorry you were too slow to the i guess the 21. so i think he moved him out of the way too let's see what happened here 21 trying to make a move on the 15. he backs out there 11 car okay 11 car is just running people over like that has nothing to do with just being slow he's checking up for the 15 and you just ran his ass over that's just not good that was bad uh, I want to go and see what happened to the 7 right off the start, too, because that terrified the hell out of me. We had a decent start. 7 car had a really bad jump. I don't know if he was in third gear or what and what happened to him, but he was slow off the initial start there. I got by him. He was taking it easy. One car almost ran to his back end because the 7 car really checked up early. And what happened here? Did he just, like, forget to hit the brakes or hit him way too hard? Oh, he went in deeper trying to stay under the one and just overshot it. That's all that happened. That's what I was expecting. Ooh, and there's more carnage up here. 19 and the 11. I think the 11. Oh, no, 19 overshot it. Got into the 11 as well. 19 doesn't save it. 11 has a great save. That was a, that was a hell of a save by him. Because he dove it in. Got into the left rear of the 11. Great save, because those things are hard to save. Don't think anybody else got into the 19. No, it doesn't look like it. He went to the pits. Where are some other incidents through this race? Lap 6. 14 car. Scrapes the wall a little. Oh, yeah, I remember him getting into the wall early on. What happened to the 5? Is this where... Oh. He, did, he definitely disconnected. He got... He lost a uh, connection all together there. 16 car. Losing it. Wall saves him. He probably was in the gas a little bit too much. Ooh, outside of the wall. Ow, that hurts. 16 car is definitely very damaged at that point. Four car under the eight. Gets sideways. Eight car gets into the wall. Neither of their faults, really. It just kind of happened. Four car was trying to turn off and just... that. This is what I was saying about the getting loose on a straightaway. Just let off, straighten it out, keep going. Because he about lost it into the wall. Eight car into the wall a little bit off of four. Eight car into it off of two. Or was that four? Yeah, that was two there. This is where the 18 finally lost it. Like, he was sideways coming off that corner. You could see his front wheels already turned. Like, right about there he's sideways. He's trying to turn it back. You just got to let off and take your losses at that point. Because I would have probably just gotten by him. I think the one car may have gotten side by side with him. And just could have kept going from there. Lap 38, yeah, he's just sideways on the straightaway. Doesn't let off the gas, nails the wall again. Seven car, I think this is where he... Oh, this is like the towards the end of the race. Oh, this is before we caught him. Okay, that makes sense. Because I did see smoke, and then that was when the first uh, thing about my spotter saying a lap car. 12 car into the wall slightly. Overshot it. No, okay. Don't know what this incident's about. What happened here at the 18 this time? Same thing, or did he just smack the wall coming off the corner? He was sideways again, coming off the corner. He lets off this time, and then just goes down. See, he saved his car uh, until he recorrected it. And then he just hit the gas and started going, which he should not have. Because that could have... Somebody could have easily ran into him, or he could have clipped one of us, which would have really sucked. This was on that last lap. The 11 just running over the 15. I don't know how the 11 running over the 20... One wasn't an uh, incident point, because that definitely was two. And he's going to reverse up onto the track. Yeah, that's a bad idea. You should not have done that. That was just, that was dumb. At that point, you just let the cars go by. And then he just, I think his front left was screwed after that. But overall, great race. Happy with how we ran. Uh, we really didn't get that loose at all. Ran as smooth as we could have and just didn't wreck the car. 
went pretty well for us. Started six, had a great start, got up to fourth, and just kind of ran where we did until the 18 screwed up, got to third. We definitely were catching the uh, 14 a little bit there towards the end. Wish I would have had some more laps for that. That would have been nice. And uh, three car ran perfect race, pretty much. So he never got really that sideways, pulled away early, and just had a good race. The lap cars didn't slow him down too much, which was, which was great. And uh, we finished third. I'm happy about that. Should gain some my rating. Let's go see what we end up getting out of the results. All right, results in. Strength of field was a little bit low, like I expected. 2271, so not too bad overall. What was car number one? Uh, 4400, so good on him being that high. We gained 39, a little bit higher than I expected, but I'm happy about that. Uh, almost back up to 3700, which is great. And basically, if you kept your car clean, you, you finished decent, except the 11 car. He had a 6X and somehow finished in fifth. I don't know how he finished fifth after what happened to him in the beginning with the uh, 19. The 19 about destroyed him and he left soon after that anyway so good on him he was very quick for sure but he did not get by people clean the the couple people that i saw at least but he might have gotten by a few people clean uh in the beginning but towards the end he was not having any of it just running people over i don't condone that kind of racing just i don't have i that just makes a target on your back and you just don't have any respect from your other drivers so I like to keep it clean like I did with the 7 in the beginning. We almost got taken out by the 7 too, which is terrifying. It wasn't super close, but we ran fine. But happy how we did and kept the car clean, kept it straight. Three car did great. Good win on him. He gained 60. He's almost up to 3,600. And 14 car had a hell of a day. Gained over 98 or gained just about 100. And he's up over 2,000. I don't know if that's the first time he is. If so, congrats, Hank. You ran very well kept it clean you got sideways a couple times thought you were about to lose it but he kept it uh together which was nice so had a clean race nobody was really that close to us after the 18 spun out and he ended up finishing way back in 16th which is unfortunate for him because he would have had a hell of a i rating day he probably would have gotten about the same as the 14 it would have been a good day for him so we definitely would have gotten a little bit less as well so Hopefully you guys enjoyed the race. Appreciate you guys for watching as always. Let me know if you guys ran this earlier in the week in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.